white people. It's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody move for me. Like Jackie King, we make it plain and simple. Bring it down to the empire and reality temple. Reality temple. My black people. It's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody move for me. Like Jackie King, we make it plain and simple. Bring it down to the empire and reality temple. Hi, it's the Love Guru Blair, and today is August 7th, 2013, and welcome to the Awakened Warrior. Oh, I got rid of my sign. We're just going to say it. We're just going to say welcome to the show. Um, so this video is about how white people need to wake up, and what am I talking about here? What I'm talking about is that there are many white people out there, you know who you are, who fight for black causes. And this I'm referring to is the recent situation having to do with the Zimmerman and Trayvon incident. Um, and what happened there, just really briefly, is that, you know, we have a system here that people are supposed to be innocent until proven guilty. But unfortunately, the president came out, the media came out, these black activists came out and everybody painted this picture for us to all see George Zimmerman as guilty. Right? This is before he went to trial. And then what happened was when he went to trial, all the evidence showed to him being not guilty. But the point here is that there, are, there were plenty of white people along the way who were not following this trial who are still out there like fighting for Trayvon or fighting for black people and how racism still exists and maybe even walking in these protests or this hoodie walk or whatever. And so this was going on and I could have been one of these people because I tend to be quite liberal with my thinking as well. And I'll tell you why white people need to wake up and why this stuff matters. Because when it comes down to it, and this is something I learned very loud and clear through the Zimmerman trial, when it comes down to a situation of white versus black, like it did with the Zimmerman trial, even though we know Zimmerman is Hispanic, but when it comes down to the situation of white versus black, um, a big population of the black people, they are just defending black people, not listening to logic, not caring about a person and who their character is and trying to find out the information, but going just to defend the black, the black people, black people. So what I'm saying here is when it comes down to it, black people don't give a shit about you. Um, and again, we're talking generally, um, but th again, this is what I learned very loud and clear, and this is why it, it, one of the reasons on why it bothered me so much, because I have always been very open and very... Um, pro-black, if we want to say something like that. Um, I've just been open to all different types of people. And I just personally found it very heartbreaking that a lot of people in the black community were not listening to both sides of the story and just going for that anti-white um, side. So let me share with you two examples of things that just happened that are, have not, well actually one I think happened a year ago, one just recently happened, that have not gotten a lot of media coverage. And, and again, this is just showing on how black people, you know, like, it's cool, like, let's get white people in to fight for us, but then there's this, this thought process, or there's actually no thought process, to be then defending white people when something bad happens by a black person. Again, the feeling is, the thought is, is that when it comes down to it, a lot of black people just don't give a shit about you. And I don't know why you're wasting so much energy on these, like, black issues. And maybe you're not spending so much energy, but there have been um, a lot of white people supporting, let's say, Trayvon in this Zimmerman-Trayvon incident when, when the truth was this kid 
was ghetto trash or black trash, to use my new term from my video. This kid was from the ghetto, and he followed ghetto philosophies. And that's why he attacked Zimmerman, because really, I think when it came down to it, uh, Trayvon was anti-white. And he had a racist thing going. And again, that's another thing that we saw was, a, I, well, again, that I noticed, and I'm sure a lot of you guys also noticed, on how many black people are anti-white out there. So again, I think it's really time, I'm going to show these two examples of, of incidents that just happened. And you don't hear any black people crying about this story, because again, they don't give a fuck. They don't care about you. And that really became very clear to me, that why am I spending time caring about black people um, if, if they don't give a shit about me, or a, as in a white person. So, mo oh, this is actually, no, this was, this was a couple of months ago, and we haven't heard much about this. In Georgia, that this black teenager, a, ba a bunch of black guys, shot a white baby, baby, in the face. Went up to go, I think, rob the mom. Um, she didn't have any money. I think she was Russian descent or something like that. She didn't have any money. And they shot her baby. The baby is dead. So where was the outcry from the white community or our black supporters saying, hey, this was a racial crime? Where were our white activists? You know what? We don't have white activists. We have become totally powerless in this situation and in the USA. Whites have become totally powerless. So this is not, like I've shown in other videos, this is not like for one party to become more powerful than the other. This is not like anti-black video. This is an understanding that so many white people have become so politically correct, standing up for the black man, standing up for their issues, and you see on how things are happening to our community, and we have no one defending us, there's no white activists, and there's also nobody... Also, these really don't get any coverage in the media. And then also, um, there's no black people on our side saying, that's wrong, what happened? So this is the thing in Georgia. That happened March 2013. Um, you could just Google it about this guy was 17 years old and a 14-year-old um, black guys shot, I don't know if they were on drugs or what, but killed the baby, killed a white baby. Definitely a hate crime, definitely a racist thing, no coverage, no white activists, because again, we don't have white activists, we've become totally powerless, totally helpless, and black people aren't standing up for this, black people aren't coming up saying that that's wrong, we don't have that. So again, white people need to wake up, because I think as a whole, or there's a big population, that the black community just does not give a fuck about you. So I don't know why you're really fighting so hard for their issues. The next situation, which this, came, this I noticed yesterday on Bill O'Reilly's site. You could find it on YouTube. Um, it's titled on YouTube, I am Trayvon Martin, Negroes savagely beat white something. I don't know. It's cut off. I can't read the whole thing here because I'm looking at it on Bill O'Reilly's site, BillOReilly.com, a brutal racial um, beating. And there are three black guys who are 15 years old on a bus, and this white kid who's 13 goes to stand up, and they pounce him. You see him like this, pouncing him, beating the shit out of him. And I think this guy, uh, I forgot what his injuries were, but again, hardly any news coverage. I don't think that this was really covered at all, even though I saw it on Bill O'Reilly, but um, there's no outrage, no outrage. Again, whites don't have any activist leader standing up for them saying, what's wrong with you, black community? There's so much white racism going on. No, we don't see any of that, and we don't see any black people coming out saying this is wrong either. Now, to make matters worse is that the school driver, did the bus driver, did nothing to stop this situation. I think eventually he was able to pull over the bus and he got up and you see him standing over. He looked like a black man and he did nothing. So once again, these black people don't give a fuck about you. That, that's the conclusion that I've come to. As a whole, black people are concerned with their issues. 
And if we have sucker whites that go and fight for black issues, that's what you are. You're a sucker. Because if it's a time that you need something or your white people need somebody, and yes, you should be protective over the white people these days. There should be some, um, I would say some loyalty, and only that loyalty because... Because I've never had loyalty to white people. I've always just kind of gone into a group and made friends with whoever and liked whoever or what. But again, black people have a hardcore loyalty towards one another. They're loud, they're loyal, and there's no reasoning with a lot of people in the black community. Again, we saw this through the Zimmerman trial when there was no rational thinking about how they were fighting so hard against the white man, about how the people are so racist, and things like that. So it is time for, for you people, my white brothers and sisters, I hate when people say that, my black brothers or my sisters or my brothers, I hate that, but I'll say it for this video. It is time for you guys to wake up because you're fighting for people who don't give a shit about you. They don't. So you're wasting energy and you should just join Team White. <laughs> I'm joking about that, but this is concerning and it is something that you should think about and start sharing it with other people because again, I think that most people in the black community just don't give a shit about white people, don't care about these things, you don't see these things covered in the media, there's no outrage, it's just for black people and if anything, uh, that, that's just a power that's totally off balance with the power. It's wrong. It's just wrong. That is not equality. So thanks for watching. I look forward to your comments. And oh, warriors, unite. Hi, it's the Love Guru Blair. And I wanted to make a video about healing Black, the black community as a whole, um, the black community's hurt, sadness, anger around slavery and racism. And this is something that became very clear to me through uh, the, Tra the Trayvon incident, the Zimmerman trial, on how many black people in our society are wounded um, and how many people wounded through this slavery that happened many years ago and the racism that you have experienced or you still experience. And I wanted to offer this class, I'm offering a class that you can find the details below on how you could purchase it. Um, yes, it is for pay because this is the work that I do. I do healing work. I'm an intuitive heart healer so I can tap into people's hearts and I can open and heal people's hearts. I could clear blocks of what's preventing them from living a really good life or living the life of their dreams. And like I said, I've been watching, when I was watching the Zimmerman trial and then all the events surrounding it, it really became clear to me on how wounded our black society is. And when let me just explain what wounding is in case you are new to this term. But basically, when you have had bad experiences, you get wounded. When you are uh, brought up a certain way, maybe certain comments are said by family members or your community, or again, certain things happen in your childhood having to do with white people, you get wounded. And you have a choice of whether you are going to let that wounding then dig deeper and co sort of...